This is the story of one of the true jewels of the world's cultural heritage, the Flateabuk, the king of all saga manuscripts, and how it was carried on the hands of cultural entrepreneurs who believed that knowing the past was crucial to human survival and prosperity. Our journey begins in Iceland. Here, the manuscript is being preserved and studied by some of the world's foremost scholars on the ancient manuscripts of the saga era. Well, this was for sure a, a, a very expensive project. It required a lot of parchment. A little over 100, 100 calves were needed, at least, to produce the parchment, and that on its own was a long process, obviously. And then, of course, you needed a great many books, because these texts that we have here, they were all copied from other manuscripts. It's a little hard to tell how many books were needed, Estimates range from somewhere between 40 to 50 manuscripts. So there was actually a whole library that was needed to, to create this big volume. It's important to be able to express this, you know, to a, to a wider audience. What an enormous cultural treasure this really is. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it is a jewel. As far as we know, nothing has been lost. Right. As far as we know, not a single leaf has been lost. Uh, and the parchment is more or less in a good state. I mean, there are, I don't think there are, there are many places, if any, that, that cannot be read today. Right. And in that regard, this manuscript is very special. But this one clearly has been regarded as a, a jewel um, for a long, long time, and it has survived right. everything that could, all, all the tragedies that could befall such a, manuscripts that yes. have always escaped. So it, it is, of course, uh, paramount that we, we keep it. Now we're on the way to see the president of Iceland to give him his copies of the Norwegian edition of Flateabuk. This is what makes us human then, that we have uh, some kind of past that is special, uh, that is, uh, that our forefathers have uh, given to us in order to preserve. And it is very strange to think that this thought has emerged now in these times when we have everything. The story has, the, the, the question has never emerged before, I think, because this has always been the human project, to preserve what your forefathers said, did, and the stories they told. It has been said that our heritage is a bridge from the past to a better future for all. Our shared history is not just about what happened in the past. It is about the process of human creativity in motion, acting upon the forces that continuously shape our world. To know who we are and where we come from might help determine where we go together as a society. This is the wisdom of the ages, encoded onto parchment, safeguarded by generations of kings, scholars, and others who deemed the contents of the manuscript too important to be lost to time. <laughs> 